Hello everyone, welcome to learn data structures and algorithm in Python course. In the previous lecture, we have solved some problems on sliding window technique of fixed size. Now, in today's lecture, we'll be solving an another problem on sliding window technique. But here, the size of the window will not be fixed. It will be dynamic. Now, let's see how we can solve a particular problem using this dynamic window size. First, let's read the question. It is called find longest substring without repeating character. You will be given a string S. Find the length of longest substring without repeating characters. So let's say here is a string given, right? Now from here you have to tell the maximum size of the substring. Those characters are unique, not repeating. Right now, if you consider, so let's say A, this is uh, the single character could be a substring, right? Now, this is non repeating character, right? This substring doesn't have any repeating character. So, one could be one answer, but we have to provide the longest substring, the length of the longest substring. Now, if we consider A, B, that is also unique, right? The character are not repeating, but we have to find the maximum, okay? Now, if we consider A, B, C, those length are 3 and the characters are non repetitive right? So, it could be one answer, okay? Then, if we consider this size, a uh, substring of size 4, then now, if you will see that A is repeating here, right? So, that couldn't be our answer. So, how to solve this problem? Let's try to understand. So, let's say this is our string, right? This is our string. Now to find uh, the maximum size of the substring that are that character are not repetitive. What we have to do? The brute force approach could be first. Let's find all substring from this particular string. Then you will manually check is the characters are repetitive or not. And for that you will be maintaining one set also to record all the characters are present in the set or not. Right? This could be one brute force approach. And obviously, time complexity will be very big, right? Time complexity will be, let's say, big of n square. And space complexity will be also O of n. Now, to solve this particular problem using sliding window technique, first thing, you have to consider a window. You have to maintain a window. Let's say left side of the window would be L and right side of this window is R. So, these are basically the pointers. Now, this size of the window may vary. But what we have to ensure that the each character, each character within this window will not be repetitive. Means each character, so let's say we put A, B, C here, right? So each character in this window will not be repetitive, right? This is the criteria, okay? So first thing, you have to consider two pointers, let's say L and R. And another, you have to consider a set, a set, where? you will store this characters right and you will check is the character are repetitive or not and then you will be consider another variable another variable result where you record where you store the length of the maximum window let's say currently my window size is 3 so first i'll store this in this raise then if i find another window those lengths are let's say 5 then i'll update this by this new window but the characters within this window will be unique this is the criteria okay now hope you understand now let's see how we can do that <clears throat> so we'll first start from index 0 we'll first consider that let's say l is here and r is also here okay and our window will be starting from 0 to 0, means A, only A, right? Only A. And we'll take a set. Let's say, uh, what name as, let's say, cares, okay, care set, okay, character set. And initially, let's say it is empty, okay? Now, what we'll do? Now, tell me, from left to right, is there any... Is there any character that is repetitive? No, right? How do we consider? How do we sure that? Make sure that we'll check 
if this character is present in this set or not currently the set is empty so we'll get this this character is unique right then what we'll do we'll just store this a here right and we'll take another variable called race that will store the length of the maximum substring now tell me what is our current length how to calculate this we have to calculate right minus left plus 1 so currently right is 0 left is 0 0 minus 0 0 plus 1 so current length is 1 right so current length is 1 okay now what we'll do we'll move forward we'll do nothing with the left pointer we'll move only the right pointer let's say we'll move right pointer here okay so right is updated here so let's make some indexes let's say 0 1 2 three four okay these are the indices okay now the right is at one okay now we'll consider this window now we'll consider this window from zero to one now when we are at this index when we are at this index we'll check if this character is present in this set or not so b is present no right so we'll store b here also okay we'll store b here also so currently you can see this window is non-repetitive character right there are no such character that are repetitive in this substring now then what we'll do we'll just update our race so current length will be updated to current length will be updated to 2 right well current length will be updated to 2 then what is next we'll move our pointer here sorry move our right pointer to here okay we are at right now we'll check is c present in this string set no right c is not present in this set that means this window is also having all characters are unique characters right then what we'll do we'll store this c in this set now tell me what is the maximum length till now 3 right the new length will be 3 so it will be updated to 3 why 3 right is at 2 left is at 0 2 minus 0 equals to 2 plus 1 equals to 3 okay okay the next thing then what do next we'll move our right pointer okay let's say our right pointer is here our right pointer is here and our left pointer is here now we'll check so if if this window uh, satisfy to all the characters should be unique what we have to check we have to check is b present in the string if it is not present in this set then we can say this this could be our new updated length right but when we check is b present here yes it will find that b is present now tell me if b is already present here now is this substring would be our resultant substring no right because b is already here now we'll be updating our new window we'll be updating our new window until now first window size was one then we'll update our window size to two then three now window size is four but when window size is four the characters are repetitive here right b is repeating here now what we'll do to make this window to make this window to make this window unique all the characters are unique what we'll do we have to remove the characters from the left side we have to remove the characters from the left side now how we'll remove this left uh, left character so to remove this we have to write just care sheet dot discard we have to use this discard method right discard and which character we want to remove that will get that will get from this left pointer okay that will be removing okay now tell me even if we remove this a from this set let's say remove a from this set okay now a is removed now and our new window size will be also will be updating our left pointer so if we remove this thing if we remove the last element our new left pointer would be updated to here so this is right this is left right now tell me is this window size 
uh, are our resultant substring no right because the characters within this substring also within this window also repetitive right even if we consider this size this window then also b is repetitive right then what we'll do we'll again have to remove this last uh, last element from this window so what we'll do we'll just remove this b from here remove this b from here okay and move our pointer so move our pointer to here okay now the window size is this why we are doing this because let's say when we add this element in our substring then this couldn't be our resultant answer because b is already present here so until until we remove b from this substring we'll remove b from this substring or window until then we'll not get the resultant answer right so this window will not be of character that are not repetitive right so we have to shrink the window that's why we are doing that why we are doing that because maybe in the right hand side all the characters will be unique or if we we may find uh, such window that are uh, not containing repetitive character but if we include this b here that will not get give our answer right that's why we'll remove all the characters to make this window unique right that is the criteria so what we'll do we'll remove the left side of uh, left character from this window until our current element is not present in this set so this is the criteria so while let's write the code while what we'll do while so s of r s of r so character at right it is not in this sorry is in set char set so while this right this element this character while this character is present in this set until then we'll do this operation because even if we remove the last element that couldn't be our answer right so we'll repeat this character until we'll find the window as non repetitive that contain the characters that are non repetitive right so currently our window size is 2 now tell me is 2 greater or 3 greater definitely 3 greater right so we'll not update this resultant string right a resultant variable right so result up till now is 3 now let's move our pointer let's remove this okay now our current window size is this right current window size is this now what we'll do so this is done now window size is this and this window doesn't contain any character that are repetitive okay now we'll just store this b here and we'll move our pointer we'll move our pointer okay let's move here now we'll check now our new window will be this new window will be this right now we'll check is b present here yes right then what we'll do we'll just remove this c from here right so we'll be move our pointer we'll be move our left pointer to here okay now the new window size will be new window size will be this right from 3 to 4 again we'll check again we'll check is b present in this so remove first c now again we'll check is b present in this set or not yes now also b present right if we consider this window also if we consider this window then also b is present in this set then what we'll do we'll again move our pointer again move our pointer to here now left is here right is here okay and window is this window is this right window is this now we have seen that this is not present in this set if we consider this one so currently so we just remove this b and we'll check now the b is not present here right now this could be our answer so we will update one with three but three is maximum will not update right now what is the next step next step will be moving our right pointer so we'll be moving our right pointer to here okay and we'll check is d present here so first we'll be adding 
will be adding b here so when we are at this index when we are at this index we'll be adding this inside state and then we'll be moving our pointer to d now is d present here no right no right then that could be our answer okay so then we'll put d here and we'll move our pointer okay we'll move our right pointer to e now we'll check is e present here no right e is not present so current window is this current window is this is not present now we'll put this e here okay now what is the length of this window right minus left plus one right six minus four two plus one equals to three right so we'll update three with three right whatever the maximum value that will be storing okay that is done okay we'll move our pointer to next we'll be move our pointer to here right now what will be the new window size then our new window will be this one okay from four to seven now we'll check if is a present here if a present in this set no right f is not present so we'll add this f now what will be our new window size new window size is 4 right 7 minus 4 plus 1 so then we'll update this result with 4 whatever the maximum value that will be update and next we'll be move our pointer we'll be move our pointer to here right this will be r okay then again we'll check is g present here no right we'll put g here then now in new window size will be five new window size will be five right then we'll our update this result with five now tell me if we consider this substring if we consider this substring the size could be three right but that is not our correct answer our correct answer is lies in the left hand side of this substring that's how we can solve this problem using sliding window of dynamic size right whose size is not fixed initially it was uh, of length one then uh, every time we just update our window right according to our requirement so let's uh, write the code for this problem so first what we have to consider we have to consider a set right let's name it as care set and create the set and then let's uh, calculate the length of the string let's say n equals to uh, ln of s okay this is the length and let's take two pointers okay let's take l pointer and initialize with zero and right pointer initialize with also zero and take a resultant variable right where we'll be updating the length variable so let's name it as length okay length equals to zero okay now what we'll do what we'll do we'll be uh we'll be uh, running this we'll be iterating for right pointer right so while r is less than n then what we'll do first first we'll check first we'll check when we are at this pointer let's say right pointer then we'll check uh while this s of set of r in care set care set then what we'll do we'll just remove the element at the right right we'll remove the character at the left right so uh care set dot discard care set dot discard what we remove s of n so this is the criteria until the uh, the whole window is not content with the unique character until then we'll be removing this from this set and we'll be updating our left pointer so left will be incremented by one okay then what we'll do then we'll add this s of r so i'll add this character so cassette dot add into this set right so s of r and then we'll update this length okay or length will be max of length and our new length will be let's write minus left plus one okay then 
at uh, then we'll be increment our write pointer by one okay then at last we'll be return our this length okay so this is the problem first we'll be considering a set then we'll take two pointers at left and right and we'll be uh, maintain this pointer we'll be considering this pointer for maintaining the window that doesn't have any unique character and every time we find uh, the window will be updating the length of it right and what will be the maximum substring the length of the maximum substring will be updating in this length variable and at last will be returning the length so let's run this so let's submit this so here you can see every time the window size is varying it is not fixed so that's how we can reduce the time complexity for this algorithm so time complexity for this algorithm is only o of n because we are only running the for loop for the while loop for once right that's why the time complexity of o of n and the space complexity we are taking another uh, space for this set that's why the space complexity will be o of n right time complexity is also o of n and space complexity is also o of n so i hope you have understood the problem so that's it for today. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.